there's an interesting debate that's been going on for thousands of years, I'm sure, but it's especially uh, relevant right now in March and April 2020. Uh, the COVID-19 virus has uh, been noticed recently and, and uh, people are, are paying attention to it. And various governments around the world have decided on a course of action. They've decided how to manage the situation, the risk, and they've taken a bunch of actions. And this is local, state, federal, world governments. They're all chiming in and, and doing things to make us all safer, I'm sure, because that's what governments care about is helping people be safe. That's historically what they've cared about. But th there are a lot of people, uh, people, kind of people that watch news and such, that, that believe this and believe that the government really truly just wants what's best for us. And oh, they make a few mistakes, but overall they are they're just care about our welfare. And then there are a group of people that think that the government is... is bad and nasty and always has been and always will be. And, and then there are a group of people that just don't care and, and they're not even involved in any of that stuff. And so there, there are quite a few different perspectives that uh, various people have about governments and, and government responses. And there are, I kind of see that there is a, a dividing line between what different people think government's role should be. And some people on one end say that the government's role should be to plan out society. It should be a central planning type thing. They decide what makes people safe, what makes businesses work, how many do we need, how many shoes do we need, what color do we need in the world, on and on and on. And then the government gets to notice what's needed and come up with solutions for that and make laws and make rules and and essentially the world is a, uh, a game board and they get to move the pieces around and, and decide that they're going to build a, a hill here and a business there and, and that this person should make this move, etc. And then the other end of the spectrum are people that believe that if there is a reason to have a government or a need, there isn't a reason or a need, but, but if there is an excuse for a government to exist... That, that that would be for them to plan how to meet the needs of people, people that are going about living their lives, doing their thing. And so, for example, if, if people are going from their subdivision to Sears, the government should notice that and say, hey, we should probably put a, a hard, flat surface here so that people can go back and forth and not get stuck in the mud. So then the government would build a road. Or, hey, there are a bunch of scary people coming from, from over the hill and we're all really scared of them and they have the wrong religion and the wrong skin color and we need safety and so government would provide the safety from the, the scary people from over the hill. And, and that's another philosophy. The challenge comes in March and April 2020, and it's going to continue for a long time, the, the debate and the actual COVID-19 uh, response situation is going to continue for a long time. But it's really come to a head in many people's minds. Do we want a third party, whether we think that they're a lovely, benevolent, wonderful, helpful group or not, do we really want them to decide whether or not it's better for us to risk our physical safety by catching COVID-19 and only having, you know, half a percent to one percent chance of, of living through it, is it better for them to allow us to take that risk, that choice on our own, or is it better for them to take that option away from us and say, yes, we know that you're going to lose your the place that you've lived, uh, whether you're paying rent or a mortgage, we know you're going to lose that. We know that you're going to lose your livelihood, your job. We know you're going to lose your savings. Uh, we know that we're going to essentially destroy your life. However, the good news is we, the government, have evaluated it, and we think it's better that you take that risk than you take the risk of half a percent or three percent or whatever of getting really, really sick or dying from a nasty, nasty virus. And... It's an interesting thing. What do you think? 
do you think that this is a such a, a scary thing that we should throw out a historical precedent? A precedent has been, now you get to manage your own risk. Uh, you're a human being, you're an adult. You get to make these choices yourself. Should we throw out all of that and say, no, we are very frightened. Look at how we're trembling because we're this scared forget about everything. All the morality goes out the window. All of our principles go out the window. When we're scared, do whatever we got to do. And if it means genocide, if it means imprisonment, if it needs whatever it means, if it's necessary to save even one life, let's lock up and kill a million people. That, that's that's obvious. Eh, that's not obviously ridiculous. It, it was a couple months ago, but now that's not. What's your take on this? I know that my viewpoint is not the norm. Uh, it's not what CNN or Fox News is telling you to believe. It's not what the society's best and smartest people, who obviously, if you're the best doctor in the world, you're not going to go in private practice and you're going to go work for the CDC because... Nothing's more fun than a large bureaucracy. So you're obviously the best people are going to be drawn to that type of environment. Do you trust them that much? Do you believe everything they're saying? Do you really believe that we should destroy our lives? Not destroy our lives. We can rebuild. But should we take a vow of poverty? Should we all have our standard of living go down by 10% or 50% or 90% in order to save 3,000 lives, or 30,000 lives, or 3 million lives, or a billion lives. Is that what's best? And do we even have a right? Do I have a right as an individual to make that choice for you? And if I don't have a right to do that, I obviously can't delegate it to other people to make that choice. If none of us have the right individually, we can't get one little group together and say that they are a representative and we can delegate that right to them. What are your thoughts? I know this is contrary, and I know this isn't what, what you're being told, but what do you think? Turn off the TV for a day, look at your neighbors, smile, wave, think, be loving, be kind, be intelligent, be intellectually consistent. What do you think?